Oh, 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 Not really thought about it yet. You have a plan or you don't have a plan? The plan is to stop selling. Just create videos? And make videos. Oh, yeah. Do they have food down here? No. Oh, yeah. Come on back. The videos. Oh, you maskless rebels. How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Ah. Did you leave this grow and grow that out? Yeah, let this one grow. Just come down here. It covers my chin. That's what discipline, self-control looks like. Okay. Should we switch now? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're catching on, Joanna. You like this? So as we grow as a company, one of the things that we want to do is increase our non-recruiting work to 20% of our business. We don't want to be so heavy, just people, man hours and labor intensive, but we also want to provide career opportunities for our people so that you can go, where, where am I going if I stay with Titus in three years time? But we understanding what's important to you, what's valuable to you, what's valuable to your daughter, what's valuable to the outside Titus stuff. How do we do that? You know, Is there not for profit that you're still passionate about? Is there something that your daughter's involved with that you're like, hmm, you know, I wonder if Titus could help us out. You know, Yeah, we want to invest in those things. That's why we exist as a company. Too. How long have you lived here? Three years. Three years. So why did you come to America? <laughs> Better prospects. Yeah? Better. Did you come with family or come solo on your own? I came with my family. Okay. Yes, Tell me about your family. That's good, sir. You're married, kids? Yes, I'm married with two kids. On a girl and a boy. My girl is 13, my boy is 10. Okay. Similar to me, I have a 15, 15 year old girl, 13 year old boy, and a, oh, wow. and a nine, about to be nine year old girl. Okay. Yeah. When I was a, a young boy, my dad pastored a church in England, and uh, okay. we had a guy called Benton Idahosa. Oh. He came and spoke at our church. Yeah. yeah. He's one of the big pastors in Nigeria. He's late now. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Preached at the church and we did some stuff. And it was cool. Uh, There's already traffic lights in here. Come on now. <laughs> and it's about my, what does employee first mean? First, it means the lens in which lead how leadership makes decisions. Yeah. Then it's giving your people clear transparency and visibility on their expectations. Yeah. Having an organized way to coach them to maximize their capabilities. Yep. And having effective career pathing conversations and outlooks. And clear, very clear they know what's next. Yeah. And they if we and if we said like so what this is what employee first means to us. Then I can then we can switch and go, all right, well let's just talk about like the why having a game plan around these employee first things really matter. And then I can talk about the stats. Am I turned on? How far away could you hear me? I was at the end of the hallway. Oh. And that's it. It's quite sneaky, isn't it? You could be listening to my private conversations. It was. Oh, tell me about your rash. <laughs> Ben, why don't you take this one? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I don't remember what's next, so why don't you so take this? I can this? see his question to Jonathan and then you can as well. Jonathan, why are you doing this? Why am I doing this? Yeah. 
companies need to know that there is a better way. There is just a better way. We get excited about our company, our product, our process, and we forget that it's the people that get us there. The people's strategy is one of the big misses for a lot of companies. They just haven't sat down to come up with a people strategy. So we apply process to the people component of your business and uh, really take it into a massaged, deeper level where people can feel confident and they're going to get a heck of a lot more out of their people than they currently are getting.